Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Yana, if you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back to another video. Also, happy Vlogmas. This is currently going up during Vlogmas, even though you may see it afterwards. So, happy Vlogmas, you guys. So today, I just wanted to kind of do like a sit-down chit-chat video with y'all. I'm all natural today. I have no makeup on, no lashes, no mascara. Eyebrows look a mess, like it's the end of the semester. And as you guys see by the title, I'm a nursing student. So I'm just really been focusing on school. I have four more days and then I can be like worry free for a couple of weeks. So yeah, this is what you guys are getting today. So not too much my appearance, but I just kind of wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about a question that I get a lot, which is why I chose to do a LPN program and um what i recommend it do i think you should get your lpn over rn do i plan to go back all those types of things so i will be doing a nursing q a um coming up here shortly um where i'll be talking more about like what my plans are once i graduate if i'm going to go back but in today's video i'm going to talk about just like why i chose um to go the lpn route as opposed to just finding an lpn program i mean i'm sorry an rn program and doing the RN program. So to start off, I'm gonna do the difference between the LPN and the RN. So an LPN is a licensed practical nurse. Some places like California and Texas do go by LPNs, they call it licensed vocational nurses. So basically we're kind of like a step down from an RN. We actually learned about this in a class. The RN is considered like the professional nurse but we are still a licensed nurse. I mean, we sit down for a practical nurse boards. We have an NCLEX, like, you know, we just have a different scope of practice. LPN programs are typically uh, much shorter than the RN program. So LPN programs are typically like uh, 12 to 18 months, I'll say. And I don't know, I've seen programs for a little bit less, but I feel like they'd be given scams, so yeah typically it's much shorter to get your lpn and again like i said you do sit for a board and get your license and get your registration and you practice and then you can work at different places a misconception that i had even when i was researching and trying to decide because i went back and forth a lot on if i wanted to sacrifice and just do my little time that i needed to do or and make it work to do the rm program or if this was worth it, I really went back and forth and then I decided that it really was worth it for a couple of the reasons that I'm gonna share with you guys today. And I'm just like, I kind of changed my viewpoint on it because people are negative about LPNs for whatever reason. So it's kind of just like, you have to do what works best for you and your circumstances, you know what I'm saying? And how everything is supposed to be flowing for you. You know what I'm saying? RN programs, you can go two routes to get your RN. You can go the ADN route, which is the two-year nursing program, or you can go the BSN, which is a four-year program. So with the nursing two-year program, there are some prereqs. And depending on how like your high school and everything lined up, like if you go to nursing school right after high school, sometimes that kind of helps you. You don't have to take like certain chemistries, whatever, just depends on the program that you're trying to get in. It'll be a little bit longer than two years, but the actual nursing program itself will be about that long. So for me, I if you've been around for a while or you watch my channel, if you know, you know, that's why whenever I give anybody advice, you really have to, because I've had people in my life who I really value their opinions. Um, I've had people who are RNs that are like, girl, do not waste your time. Like literally have kind of crushed my dream and here I am, I'm so happy that I'm gonna be a nurse. I wouldn't care, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, I understand and I see the difference, but I'm still a trained nurse, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still gonna have a lot of different opportunities. I had people telling me like, you know, not to do it. So I was kind of like, I was a little bit discouraged. I didn't know what I wanted to do because I was at a place in my life where if you knew, if you know, you know, I went through a complete transition. I got out of a relationship. I, you know, transitioned jobs, like, everything that i knew my home everything like was no longer like i just went through a huge transitional period of my life 
and I went through a period where I was kind of just like, I didn't know what to do. I was lost because I felt like going to nursing school, period, being any kind of nurse was just never going to happen for me. Um, and I was in a situation where I was really didn't have much financial aid. I didn't have actually really any faith that I would get any financial aid. And it's just crazy how God works and how things work, but they only work out at a certain period of your life. I'm actually taking classes out of the community college for an RN program, doing my prereqs. And it just was like, you know, I, I was working for a hospital. They were doing tuition reimbursement. Everything was kind of working out but my life was like falling apart at the same time. So when that came to an end and everything just kind of stopped, I was like, okay, I don't see how this is gonna work. And then it ended up working out and I ended up getting just enough financial aid for this program. And I was just like, all the signs were lining up. So like I said, I was at this transition period and I was like, okay, Deanna, what do you want to do? Like, it's time to like really lock into a career. It's fine to be back home, get back on your feet, start over. You know, you thought you were you were engaged. You thought everything was going to be this whole different situation. And so it's okay to come back home and sit down and revamp your life. But you need to like utilize the time. I didn't want to like be sitting here and not have anything to show for it like i have to find me something that's sustainable like what do i want to do you know and for me it was important for it to be done as quick as possible because i don't have no money i don't have no financial aid you know i don't i don't have no as far as i knew i had maybe like one semester left so i was like that's not enough for my whole two years of my rn plus my prereqs because some of my classes are so old from when i was in undergrad a lot of the nursing programs want them to be like within two years. You guys know I took a couple years break of school. So I'm kind of having to start over in that sense. So that was a big decision factor for me was the cost, how much I was going to be able to, you know, how basically how was I going to become a nurse for the least amount of money? And that seemed like the best route for me. As an LPN, this program, it was very cheap. My program's like $8,000 total for the entire program. And I ended up being able to get financial aid for the entire program, which was such a blessing. And um, it ended up working out because I was like, this is just enough. And it's like, yes, I could have used this for one year towards my RA, but I would have still had to like, you know, so this was just best for me for what I wanted. I was ready to start a career and get going and work as a nurse and get experience and do something different. So I felt like this was the best thing for me. Also, my program is t uh, 10 months. That was a huge factor for me. Um, also, the requirements were very doable for the LPN program, like a lot, excuse me, a lot of RN programs want you to do a lot. You know, and applying to nursing school is a lot. And so for my, my program, it was a lot, but it was like very manageable stuff. So when I found the program, I was like, oh, I can do this before the deadline you know because a lot of the times like you need to make sure you're like ahead of the game but with this program i was like okay i can do this so i was like okay i'm gonna try and i'm gonna do it get my foot in the door this is this is my this is the perfect opportunity for me to do it everything just kind of pointed to this is what you should do like if you're in a place where you just graduated high school you have all of your financial aid you haven't gone and use your Pell Grants anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know you want to do this, this is what you want to do, then go for it. Go for your arm right away while you have the capability, while you're young, while you don't have kids, um, you know, whatever the case your situation may be, while you might be living at home, living on campus. If you have the means, do it. If I knew that this was the route I wanted to go when I first started college, I definitely would have went the RN route, but being as though I am kind of like a returning non-traditional student at this point because of everything I've gone, been through. I've gone to school and used up all my financial aid. Um, I'm going to do a video kind of talking about my whole experiences about like everything that's kind of happened because y'all might be confused. I wanted to find a career as quick as I could doing something that I was passionate about, which was nursing. LPN, my, the program I found, the requirements were right the pricing was right the financial aid ended up working out perfectly 
um, I was staying here my, with my grandma, so it really helped. That ended up being the hugest blessing. And I'm halfway through, the semester's over with. So in May, I'll be graduating and practicing as a nurse, um, as an LPN. And I wanna see, I'm excited to see where my career is gonna take me as an LPN. Also, if I do decide to go back, if and when, because I think ultimately I may go back unless I completely change my career path to something completely out, uh, different. While I'm in RN school, I'll be able, if I'm working as LPN or if I do it after a couple years, I'll be able to make more money while I'm in school since nine times out of 10, I'm paying out of pocket. Those are pretty much kind of like my little reasonings. Um, hopefully this wasn't all over the place. Um, I got a little extra chatty, but I just kind of wanted to share my experience as to why I chose to do LPN pro the LPN program at this point in my life. I feel like this was really the best decision for me. And I'm very happy and excited that I chose this because I feel like I kind of gave up. And so this just kind of propelled me. Just look at your your circumstances, your end goals, what you want, and make the decision for yourself. And if you're easily influenced, don't ask a lot of people their opinions because you're the one who has to live with it. They don't. The nursing Q and A is coming up soon. So if you have any questions that you want to add to it, you can leave it down below. And it can be anything about the program that you want to know. Um, like I said, my semester is wrapping up. So it could be questions about how the semester went, my favorite class, like, you know, was there any drama, any t what happened with the teachers? like. What's the tea? Thank you guys for watching, especially if you made it to the end. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.